Hi there and welcome back. This is Math 8 Unit 1 Lesson 16 looking at parallel lines and the angles in a triangle. And so we've already spent a couple of lessons looking at parallel lines before and we've had a couple of lessons looking at angles instead of triangle. And so now we're going to bring those things, those concepts together to talk about how they relate to one another. And so one of the things you did today in class was we looked at a triangle and we had this section called angles, angle plus 2. And you took a triangle like ABC and I can go ahead and draw that right here a little bit darker so we can make sure we can see it through the patty paper once again. So I'm just outlining in the ABC triangle there. And when you take that triangle and we trace it with a piece of patty paper, the first thing you did in class is said to find the midpoint of A and C. And our midpoint in this case is right here. We're going two, we're going over one, two, one, two, so we're about here. And if we rotate around that midpoint 180 degrees we will snap this in place right about here and it says to label the new vertex as D and so we'll put that right there and we'll call that D. I'm going to come back there in a second and I can then draw the new triangle with vertex D here and here and then the next one said rotate triangle ABC around midpoint of sides AB and our midpoint for side AB would be right here at this point. We have one space, two space, right in the middle. Rotate it around 180 so that line snaps in place. And once again, we see that our line's going to be right about here, so right there. And it says to label that point as vertex E. Label that E. And I connect my lines. And I connect my lines. And so we ended up with a shape that looks something like that. I think we're about right there. Looks pretty good. Okay. And it says look at angles EAB, so here, BAC, here, and CAD, there. And without measuring, write what you think is the sum of the measures of these angles. So what we saw was that these three all combined make a straight line or straight angle we would probably say they're about 180 degrees and we wouldn't say probably would say they definitely are because it makes a straight line there and you explain that in your conversations with your friends now if the measure of angle EAB it says in number four is the measure okay is the measure of EAB equal to any other triangles within ABC and we would say yeah it's going to be and that's because when we rotated things around that triangle came from some other place didn't it right so let's put it back here just to see where it's going to end up at. When I look here, when I rotate around that midpoint, I'm looking at this angle right there. So I'll shade that in for you a little bit. I'm looking at this angle measurement. When I rotate that around 180 degrees, it ends up snapping right here in this place right there. So this angle measurement is going to be congruent to this angle measurement. They're going to be congruent angle measurements. What we noticed in our conversation was that because I have two parallel lines again, and I have a transversal, think back to our pre previous lesson here, where we, we highlighted said parallel lines like that, and then we saw we had a transversal here, like there, uh, my alternate interior angles are going to be the same, meaning that this angle measurement right here will be equal to this angle measurement right there. And that happens all over the place when you look at triangles. So that was something you talked about when you were um, discussing this in class. And you also took a look at that means that that's the case because they're going to match. This one here will match this one there, right? And so if that matches that one, then what's left of this one is going to be equal to those together to make 180 degrees. And so you played around a little bit to figure out that your triangle is going to have 180 degrees because we're just moving these angles around at different points of the triangle and it worked out nicely. And then we took a look at another picture that had again two parallel lines. DE was parallel to, uh, to this one down here, AC, and then you had a triangle inside of it. And it asked first of all, what is the measurement of DBA? So this point right here, what's the measurement of this plus angle B? plus CBE. Well, and once again, what we notice is because these are combined together to make a straight line, we're going to say it's 180 degrees to go from here plus here plus there. And that's how we know that there. And again, the other thing we looked at was it says, okay, 
you use your answer to explain why ABC is 180 degrees. And the rationale for that is that if this angle here, whatever it is, is some degree, our alternate interior angle is here, which makes that equal to that one. We have this angle here is going to be equal to this alternate interior angle. And then we already had B in place here. And we already said at the outset here that the blue plus the pink plus the green equals 180. So in like fashion, blue plus pink plus green is still going to equal 180 degrees because the alternate interior angles are equal to each other and that angle remained the same. And that will work for every triangle uh, all the time. And that was part of your lesson today. You then looked at a shape here. We had this, this square again with a triangle. And it said that, that BAC was 53 degrees right there. So we had that measurement being 53 degrees. And it asked you to find out any other uh, angle measurements you could inside of this shape. And when we do that, we know, for example, if that's 90, 90 plus 53 is going to be 143. And so what remains over here will be 180 minus 143. And so we end up with 37 degrees right there. So because this shape we know before is just being rotated around, then we could say that this one is 53. We could say this is 37. We could say this is 53. This is 37. And this is 53. And this is 37. Can we find out what this measurement right here is going to be? Sure we can. If I do 53 plus 37, and this is the long way to do this by the way, I could add up and find out that that is going to be 890 degrees there. And so what's left is 180 minus 90, which is 90 degrees right here. And because it's been the same everywhere, these will all be 90 degree angles right there for this shape. And so we can indeed find out the measurements of any one of the other angles just by knowing a little bit about one or two of them, can't we? So in summary today for the lesson, we can use parallel lines and rotations. We can see why the triangle always adds up to 180 degrees. And so we can look and see that X matches X and Y is there and Z to Z and we end up with 180 because this 180 is going to match that 180 because of the parallel lines within that. And we can do that with any triangle all the time. So let's take a look then at your homework assignment today, which is parallel lines and the angles in the triangles. For each triangle, find the measure of the missing angle. So here we have 72 and 20. So 72 plus 20 is 92. And we ask ourselves what's left, 180 minus 92. And we do some borrowing there. 17 minus 9 is 8. So we have 88 degrees is what's left for this figure here. Over here, we have a 56 and an 89. We add that up first of all, and we end up with 145. To find out what's left for our small measurement, we do 180 minus 145, and we end up with 35 degrees right in there. Moving down here, we already have 128 and another 28. We combine that. For 156, not done though, I have to see what's left. So I subtract 156 from 180, and when we do that, we end up with 24 degrees. And over here, finally, we have 122 and we have a 38. We add that up and we have 160. To find out what's left, I do 180 minus 160, and I end up with 20 degrees there. Number two, is there a triangle with two right angles? Well, two right angles would be 90 plus 90 plus something else has to equal 180. In order for it to work, that's what would have to take place. Because this is already 180, yet we have 180 plus 0 equals 180, and you really can't have an angle measurement of, 100, of 0. It would look something like this. There's my 90, and there's my 90. Does that work? Mm, I'm going to say, nope, that's not a triangle. Number three. The next one here. In this diagram, lines A, B, and C, D are parallel. All right, so this line right here is parallel to this one right there. That's what we're saying to start off with. Angle A, B, C, 
ABC measures 35 degrees. So 35 degrees is what we have in that space right there. And angle BAC is 115. So 115. And that's what we have so far. Then it wants to know the measurement of ACE. So we have to find this one right there, ACE. And then we're going to find DCB, this one right here. And ACB, this one right here. So that's what we're going to find out here. First of all, we could take a look at this angle measurement. Um, we could look at that, well, it doesn't matter the order. We could find A because this is an alternate interior angle. Again, we have that transversal, which is here, going down that spot there. And so if that is our transversal, then we know that this angle matches the alternate interior angle right there, which is 115 degrees. Over here, we have another transversal. I wish I had another color to highlight that way. Sorry that I don't. We can use this transversal here. I'll just kind of dot it out like that. How about that? Okay. And if this is 35, then my alternate interior angle is right here. This is also 35 degrees. But in sum, these will all add up to be 180, won't they? So I take my 115. I take my 35, I add that up, and we have 3, 4, 5, we have 150, and then I subtract that from 180 to find out that what remains is 30 degrees in this space right there. I could have done it a couple ways. I could have started a triangle and said 115 plus 35 is going to be, again, 150, and found out the 30, and then work backwards, but you get the idea. So there is a way to do that, and make sure you label your stuff there, so the measurement of angle, for example, ECA equals 115 degrees. And so you can write that out for the other ones because we gave you the measurements, but you can write that out for your other ones that you need to solve on your homework. In number four, we have two figures that are congruent. It says label the points over here that match with the prime, prime ones. So this is A, and this becomes A prime. We have our point on the curve is C prime. Another point on this line is B prime. So that's how we label it, first of all. If segment AB measures two centimeters here, how long is segment A prime B prime? Because we said that the two figures are congruent, that means they're gonna be the same in their angle measurements and their side lengths. This would also be two centimeters. So make sure you explain that though, like I just did verbally, you have to write out your answer. The point D is shown in addition to AC. How can you find point D prime that corresponds to D? Well, D is on the next page, that's our next shape. Right, so I can go ahead and relabel real quick. Here's A prime, C prime, I already know those ones. If D is here, and it looks like it's somewhere on the long one, right? That's the long shape, the long line. The long line, and so the long line's there, and the long line is here. If I wanted to figure out where D was going to be, where D prime was going to be at, what I could do is I could use some measurements, couldn't I? I can measure how far it is from C to D, and I can measure how far it is from A to D in order to solve what that actually would be. I might find, for example, that from C to D, I'm going to go 4 centimeters, and from A to D, it looks like I'm going to go mm, 3.6, just an estimate there which would mean I could come out here 3.6 to get that point right there. And I could verify it by seeing if that's gonna be four, which it is, right? So I have my measurement there. Another way of looking at it is I could also look at the angles here, couldn't I? I could look and notice that I'm making a triangle if I go A to C. And I could have used the triangle angle measurements to also figure out what this could have been as well. So a couple different ways of approaching it, but up to you how you want to do that. Good luck. Have a great day.